hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to the bathroom. I am just about to wash my face and get ready for the day and I thought I'd vlog whilst doing it because I've just got in the post. Well, I mean, it's in the post because I, this is so dead. I keep being like, I've just got in the post a new NMS cleansing balm because I ran out and I just, I can't live without it. I need it to take my makeup off. I just need it as a first cleanse. I love it so much. I bought it off Look Fantastic and I have a Look Fantastic code which gets you 20% off. I also have a code for the LMS website which gets you 20% off. So I'll leave all of that down below. I wanted the Green Fig Cleansing Balm and for some reason on the LMS website my code doesn't work on the Green Fig Balm. It works on all the other cleansing balms, just not this one. So I got this from Look Fantastic. Oh, I wanted to try the Green Fig but I'm wondering if maybe a fragrance was a mistake. I usually just get the normal one which has a really nice kind of spa fragrance. This literally smells like 90s body shop. Ananya. Does anyone remember that one? The pink one. I used to love that. Anyway, this does not smell like fig. I'm sorry. Maybe it's just a fig I'm not used to smelling. When I think of fig I think of like Diptyque Philosikos, like a really green fig, you know, like a fragrant horticultural type fig. This is not what I think of. Anyway, so there, don't get the green fig one, go on LMS, get the normal one and use my my uh, and use my code and get yourself a discount. Anyway, how are you all? It is Tuesday, I dropped go to nursery, I'm just gonna do my skincare and then I might take Elliot out to the park this morning and then come back and chill, then he's gonna have a nap and then I need to pop out a bit later. Hainsey's is here at the moment, he's downstairs, he's then working for a couple of hours this morning, um, so he'll be out and then he'll be back because I need to pop down into town because I need to get my eyebrow right okay I have been using I have been using this right I was also using the lash serum I stopped using the lash serum it's the glow for it this is the brow serum was using the lash serum I feel like I got darkening around my eyes do you remember when I burnt myself with retinol and I burnt around my eyes and it kind of discolored like you can still kind of see there on my lid like it's 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 a deeper shade and it was never like that and so once my retinal burns cleared up on the rest of my face, I still felt like now and again just around my eyes there was a bit of discoloration. And I thought, I think it might be the lash serum because that can be a side effect. So I stopped using the lash serum and to be honest, if I want great lashes, I'll just get a lash lift or use fake lashes. Like I'm not that obsessed really with having long natural lashes as I was. I did want fuller brows. And I've always wanted fuller, fluffier brows because this one is okay. This one just never grew great. However, I've been using this brow serum and I really do feel like through here is definitely more abundant and like there. I never used to get to the point where I was desperate to have my, my brows done. All maternity leave, I've been able to go months and months and months without getting my eyebrows done and not feel like, oh my God, I need to do it. I'm not at that point now, like I don't know, it probably doesn't look, I don't know how it looks on camera but in real life it's so much, there's so much more growth than I've ever had before and it's making it harder to fill my brows and I'm like I really need to get these tidied but I don't want them to take like, it's basically there's more growth kind of here so this front bit is a lot longer and a lot more abundant throughout. It kind of used to cut off like there, and there was like a weird bit here that had no hair, but it's starting to get a bit more even, so I literally just want them to take this bit. Whenever I get my brows done, I'm like, only go there. I don't like them to do in the middle, I don't like them to do the top, because I just feel like they take too much. So I'm like, just the underneath, and that's it. I always need to get my top lip done. So, I need to do that later. I also need to, I went to Zara yesterday and bought a couple of things for the boys. Tried them on the boys yesterday and I feel like we could go a size up. I don't feel like they're gonna last as long. So I wanna go and exchange those. And then I need to go into nursery because we're having like a progress update with Gabe. And I will talk about Gabe and his progress and like what's going on with him at some point in this vlog, but yeah. Hey, we are here. Oh, should we turn this off? That's a little harsh. We're here in the car park, just got to town. And I thought I'd just quickly show you, I've got to take the boys things, well, change the boys things that I bought yesterday from Zara to the size bigger. But I thought, let me show you what I bought them just in case the sizes aren't there and I've got to just return them because they're very, very cute. I actually just bought Elliot something just because I was buying Gabe some stuff and I thought I can't leave Ellie out but I basically bought him this cute little navy blue tracksuit. I mean it's very simple but just a very sweet tracksuit that's got this little logo on it that says new games generation. I mean Zara have the weirdest like things printed on some of their stuff. They say the weirdest sentences but I actually went in because they had a really cute uh, like chocolate brown 
tracksuit with a hooded jumper that I wanted to get for getting and we'd looked at it online and but hadn't ordered it and I thought well as I'm in Zara let's see and they didn't have there was a few tracksuits online and they didn't have any of them in store but then I saw Gabe does need some new jumpers he's kind of growing out I haven't bought jumpers for him for ages and he's kind of growing out of the ones that he's got even though it's kind of moving into spring but either way I saw this and I just could not resist it's this uh, kind of and it's just it's like a it's just a normal um jumper but like with all zara things there's just really nice deep this arm detail i can't really show it properly it's just so nice it's like a seam that goes from the shoulder it almost makes it like a drop shoulder it's a really nice detail like i say and i put it on gabe and he looked stunning in it but we were we were looking at it and i was like i just think he could probably go another size up do you like things oversized and then this which is just a really nice knitted a kind of spring jumper with these buttons um again this can definitely be a size up so they're both age four so i need to get age five um and gabe is three and we generally oh yeah no that's two sizes bigger but anyway there we go and then ellie's it was 18 to 24 months so i'm gonna have to get him at size two to three <laughs> again this fit but like the the trousers i thought should i keep 18 to 24 and just change the top but I feel like I'll just get both in two to three. I mean, he is 14 months. But anyway, <laughs> to think that I'm going to get him size two to three. And then, as I say, I'm going to get my eyebrows done, get my tash done. And then that's it. I might look at a few other little shops. Although there isn't that much in town really to look at. But that hurts so much today. My eyes were like streaming. I didn't vlog any more of yesterday because... Um, oh, I had that meeting at Gay's Nursery and then I was just kind of in and out when it got really busy But I will catch up about that later when I'm home, but it is Wednesday morning and I'm just on my way into town. I've just dropped um, Gabe's nursery Elliot to his child mind for his first full day So it's been a chaotic morning trying to get everyone ready But I'm just now walking to the station because I'm going into London because I am going for my six-week Invisalign check which is slightly more than six weeks because I had to move it. And then, I don't know if you remember, like years ago, like before COVID, I was having tattoo removal and I then stopped because it was COVID and then had kids. And I'd started it, paid for a few sessions, bought like a package and didn't know how many of those I'd used, but I thought maybe I've got like two left. But to be honest, I was fully prepared that they were going to say because it was so long ago like they're not valid anymore but anyway i want to resume this tattoo removal so i called them and said i did have a package and they were like yeah you've got five left i was like what so i've got five sessions left which is amazing so obviously girl math this is basically free because i paid for it so long ago so i have to go for a patch test and then i've booked in my first session for next week so after i've had my this line check i'm gonna whiz over to it's pulse light clinic i go to i'm gonna whiz over there and have this patch test so there we go let's just go and get the train desperate for a coffee desperate for like some kind of like oh olene scene cinnamon swirl what are they called what are they called cinnamon dreams or something what are they called cinnamon the cinnamon things uh but i haven't bought anything to brush or floss with before my appointment and i don't like going in well i can't go in with like food or my teeth definitely not um, so I'm just going to have to wait till after. I'm going to show you the bottom teeth because I think that's where I've seen the most amount of movement. So we started off like this. You are now... There. Oh my god! How crazy is that? And then the that's top mad. teeth... This was the amount of crowding we had at the front. We're now there. Stop. Because I feel like I look at my top teeth and I'm like, oh, they haven't really moved at all. Really? No. It, but they really have. Like, when you look at it from the front, if I tip that from the front, yes. you don't really. Yeah, yeah. It's not low. Like, this one shifted a bit, but there's not yeah. a massive difference. But when you look at it from the underneath yeah. the angle, that's where you really see everything really kind of becoming that really nice round and art shape. Yeah, great. Oh, I want to have a look. Can I have a look? Yes, yeah, so of course. Well, this is Dr. Tilly. Hello. She's looking after my previously awful teeth. Oh, they're going to be, soon to be unreal. We're so excited. We're, I can't believe the difference in six aligners it's been. Yeah. The next six is where we're going to see a real big change. So, super excited. Can't wait. So, 
I just had my patch test for tattoo removal and my god, I do not miss that pain. It is just hideous. I'm wondering what to do because I'm a bit annoyed actually because I, I thought, oh, I could go to Selfridges because I want to look at skims. But then I'm the other side, I'm not near there now because I'm, I'm not at the dentist. The dentist is nearer to Selfridges. Of course, that clinic is the top of the court road. So I could walk all the way back down, but I don't really want to do that. And I'm thinking I could find something, grab some lunch, or like, should I go to the shops maybe? Should I go to Andy the Stories? But then it's like I shouldn't really be spending money, I don't really need to be doing anything. Should I go and have some lunch somewhere, or should I just go home and enjoy time at home without the boys? <laughs> and just indulge in that before I have to go and pick them up? It's tough, it's tough, what do I do? I'm just eating, um, oh God, what's going on with my hair? Jesus. Where are my necklaces? Sorry, I have to have my necklaces out. It feels so weird when I don't. We're home. I'm just eating some Milky Bar eggs. And I bought them on my home because I saw them and thought, oh, when I take my own line out and eat lunch. I want some Milky Bar eggs. I actually probably shouldn't be eating these. I feel like they're a bit too crunchy. Back from town. Invisalign went well. Tilly's pleased with the progress. Honestly, my teeth have moved. My bottom teeth specifically. They both have actually, but I feel like I can notice my bottom teeth way more. They've moved so much. I feel like I can't really notice my top as much. But when you look at, I've either already shown it or I'll show it now. Um, she showed me like the simulation from the underneath of where my teeth are at now and they've moved so much. So good. Um, also, I'm so pleased I got my eyebrows on yesterday. How much better do they look? And then I went and had my patch test for tattoo removal. Oh yeah, I said didn't I? The pain. Oh, the pain. Not looking forward to it, but it's got to be done. I want the tattoos gone. I, I could honestly get rid of every tattoo I have, but I don't really want to pay for that or go through the pain of it because it's just awful. But these ones specifically, they're on the top of my feet and like, I don't know why I did it. I knew when I did it, it was a mistake and now I'm really paying for it. And you know, she owns a pair of Jimmy Choo's now. It just doesn't go, so <laughs> that's not what, I mean, I obviously started it like four years ago, but yeah, it, even more so with the Choo's. I'm like, get off my feet. Well, I mean, I say I can't wait to get in the swing of that. That takes forever, hence starting like four years ago. And I've already had like six sessions maybe. And I've got five left. But the woman that did my patch test was like, oh, it's you, you want to leave like as long as possible before. So minimum like 10 weeks in between appointments. And I'm like, God, that's like nearly three months. That's how long it takes to remove a tattoo. Like it's, it can be years. It can be years. So anyway, there we go. That's that. And I'm just in the room because I need to change the bed. Subject of that, I keep getting asked where the bedding's from. This green one. And also the sheet because it's from the same place. It's from Bedfolk. And I love Bedfolk. I actually got sent that years ago, like just after I had Gabe actually. And at first I was a bit like, oh, I wasn't sure if it washed very well. So I wasn't really sure if it was worth the money, but having had it now like nearly four years, it's aged so well. Wash is great. I would highly recommend investing in Bedfolk bedding, just good linen bedding. Because I have a couple from H&M. I'm actually changing it to an H&M set now which is this kind of more beigey one, um, which is fine, but I do slightly feel the difference in like the hardness of that linen versus the Bedfolk one. And I absolutely love this color. I feel like I just want to get another set in that same color because I love it so much. I'm going to change the bed. I've got in the fro on. She's not called that anymore, is she? She's just called Victoria. I just got this jumper from Marquette after seeing Hannah Kroski wear it, who I love. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it because I thought, is it too is it too, too big? This is a small and I thought, should I have got an extra small? But I quite like it. I've got just sweaty Betty leggings on. It's just a very casual, like black sweatshirt, but I like that it's like that, like a top rather than an actual sweat with where it's kind of gathered at the bottom. But looking in the mirror like this, I'm not sure if I do. But anyway, I've worn it now, so I have to keep it. But yeah, I just think it's, um. It's just quite a nice shape, just a little bit diff. Um, so yeah, that's what I was wearing today. Oh, hi, good morning. Oh, I've got no makeup. I have just done my first official school, no, it isn't really. Uh, not even the school run, they're not at school, but I've just done my first nursery drop off for both the boys and they come to work by myself. Like Hainsey wasn't home. Well, Hainsey had to leave early this morning because he's working, he's shooting today and tomorrow. So he was up and out early. So it's basically me alone, getting the two boys ready and sorted out to drop to nursery for me to then come to work to do a client. And fuck me. It's, 
I'm exhausted. Like, what I would give to just go back home and sit and stare out the window. <laughs> And like, this isn't just mums, like, I know everyone can have stressful mornings, but specifically when you're trying to get your children ready for childcare to then come to work, like, I'm, I feel grateful that I'm only working this morning, and then I can go home and have some time to myself, because I know there's washing up to do, there's washing to hang, there's another wash to put on, and I can do that this afternoon before I go and get the boys, but Monday to Friday, or office working mums, it's, it's such a lot. It's such a lot. I think a lot about this since having children, and the expectation on mums to work as much as they did before having kids. And a lot of the time, from my experience, a lot of mums have to do that because of the financial situation. They have to still bring in the same amount of money that they brought in before having kids. But, and there's just no leeway to work less or not have as much emphasis on work with small children. And I just feel like they really should be. But yeah, it's so, it's such, it's such a lot. And I know we hear a lot of people talking about this, but Jesus. Um, as I say, I'm very lucky this is the only day I'm doing this and then I'm not working tomorrow but I am home with Elliot because he's not in childcare tomorrow and I'm, I'm working over the weekend but like this isn't me every day and I found this stressful and this isn't my every day but to have this four days a week which I know a lot of mums do that have young children, it's, it's such a lot. Anyway, let's not start off with a rant, I'm desperate for a coffee. So yeah, I've done the bare minimum for me to get ready. Um, so I'm going to make a coffee. I went to the co-op and bought Yum Yums awful oh because that's that's just what i need so let me just get myself together because my god finally bought a bit i was in on the weekend and i finished a client a lot earlier than i thought i would i had like a big um like admin type situation which i'll show you later i ordered tiles um i was just thinking like what do i want to do with the space now that i'm like settled in What's the plan? The plan, I ordered some tile samples for here because I want to sort this bathroom out. Ideally, I, th I thought I wanted to paint it because it's like a horrible kind of magnolia color. But I think all I'm gonna do is get a picture up and then change these tiles because I hate these tiles, as you can see. So I've ordered a couple of tile samples and then I also asked for quotes like getting the signage taken down, painting the outside. I, I think someone's coming by this morning to quote for painting the outside. It's not a particularly exciting bin by any stretch. There's no Brabantia, you know what I mean? But I thought, um, I don't really need to spend the bin for the salon. So it's just a little John Lewis. I think it's their any day range. And it's, a, it's one of these shapes rather than a round bin because then I can just slot it in quite neatly. Um, and it doesn't need to take up too much room. Another thing I want to do is get lights to go underneath the cupboards because you can see in this corner here it's quite dark and the only way to have light there is to keep the bathroom light on which I don't really want to do so I also want to order some just little LED ones from Amazon that I can stick under here basically so that especially like in this corner there it can just have a bit more light let there be light and then the client I have this morning is actually my friend's sister couple of times she is quite far away and the last time I did a hair I do you know I don't think I've done a hair since my old flat when I first started doing hair but I did a hair a few times there and then she's coming back to see me today so that'd be nice and yeah it's my friend I do her mum's hair her auntie's hair sometimes her hair but again she lives far away and then sometimes her sister's hair but they both live quite far but her mum and auntie live up the road and I saw them both last week um so I do their hair quite regularly which is great right let me take my invisible out oh my god what a morning oh, i've got the dishwasher on thank god someone invented the dishwasher like the amount of relief i feel that we have a dishwasher i'm saying that like we've only just got one we haven't there's always been one in this house but so often when i use it i just think oh, i'm so grateful that i have this dishwasher <laughs> because doing the washing up especially when you have kids you just feel like you're constantly well you're just constantly washing in some way or another when you have children um, and the washing up is one of those things. And our kitchen is, is quite old and it's quite small and it gets cluttered quite easily. And so I feel very overwhelmed when the kitchen's dirty. I don't like a dirty kitchen and a dirty kitchen meaning like lots of washing up stacked up everywhere. So the fact that the dishwasher allows me to stack things throughout the day and feign tidiness to then turn it on and then have maybe a couple of things to wash up, but not a whole load. It just honestly really takes, some of my stress away 
but let me tell you what happened this morning. You are not going to believe it. Well, maybe you will do. So I'm at work and I'm doing my friend's sister's hair. And I get a text from Hainsey. Oh, I've got a package coming. Oh, I'm not home. I'll be in later. Um, he then messages me a picture of this package being delivered. Oh, one second. Okay, sorry. I just ordered in lunch because I just can't, I just can't today. I just can't. So anyway, he then sends me a picture of this package. And he's like, it's been delivered. And I was like, what? I look at the picture and the package is lent up against our front door which is open <laughs> so luckily obviously it was my friend's sister whose hair I was doing and I was like I'm gonna have to just quickly drive home because I think I left the door open and she was like oh Jesus drive home I get here the door's been pulled to but not completely shut and I walk in there's no package anywhere and I was like oh my god where's this package anyway go back to the salon and I think well maybe our neighbours have got it i.e our landlords I was like I'm sure they've got it thank god I then get home from doing my friend's hair um knock on the door lovely landlords have taken it and I was like thank god for that and they were like honestly and I was like I'm so sorry I left the door open and they're so lovely they were like do not worry like we've done it so many times before like it's fine but I definitely didn't leave the door wide open but I ran I took the kit I put the boys in the car I did shut the door I then was like shit I need Elliot's big coat because it's gonna rain today so I ran back in and if you don't slam our front door sometimes it doesn't completely shut and that must have been what I did um but oh, what an idiot so anyway she had our package thank god and another package I, I don't know if anyone remembers when I was pregnant I took some wild nutrition uh, the pregnancy supplements I am a bit like a bit of a snob when it comes to supplements and I think it's worth investing um, and I mean given my mental state recently <laughs> I need all the help I can get so I ordered the women's daily multi nutrient and then finally vitamin D I should we should all be taking vitamin D I don't and I should so I ordered their vitamin D um, and when you first order you get the lovely uh, bottles that they come in and then I've subscribed so every month they will send me refills so it will just come in like pouches and I'll just refill these bottles I also have this isn't like a influencer thing like anyone that buys from Wild Nutrition will get a referral code um, and it means that you can get £15 off if you want to order just in case you wanted to get supplements I think Wild Nutrition are great so I'll leave that down below but anyway um, so there we go I've got my supplements I ordered bow buns Oh god this looks so unhealthy okay right i'm gonna go and eat this and then before i know it it's gonna be time to go and pick the boys up um and then it's carnage until bedtime <laughs> so you know i'm that's unfair it isn't carnage until bedtime like the boys are actually great um but it's just full on until bedtime do you know what i mean because you've got to do dinner and put them to bed <laughs> oh god oh hi good morning in the salon it's sunday and I just thought I cannot put up another vlog without a proper ending. Um, so I'm gonna end this vlog now. God, that's very bright there. This is beautiful sunshine. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Um, I am gonna vlog this week. Hopefully see you again next week. And yeah, have a lovely Sunday, whatever day you're watching this. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.